Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. We have um, 100 to the power of root x equal to square root of 1000 to the power of um, x. Okay, so how do we deal with this? This is 100 to the power of root x equal to 1000 to the power of x then the whole of this is raised to the power of 1 over 2 this is because if you have square root of a to the same thing as a to the power of 1 over 2 and then again if you have two powers like this you can always multiply them so we have 100 to the power of root x equal to 1000 to the power of x over 2 because we have x times 1 okay which will give us x then we have over 2 now from here we want to try to have the same base this is 100 this is 1000 100 is the same thing as 10 times 10 and that will be 10 squared okay in bracket root x and then 1000 is the same thing as 10 to the power of 3 in bracket x over 2 right so that's from here we have two okay we have two we have 10 to the power of 2 root x and that will be equal to 10 to the power of 3x over 2 because we have 3 times x is 3x then we have over this 2 now we have okay let me write it down here now we have the same base we can work with the powers now meaning that 2 root x is equal to 3x over 2 and then from here I can simply divide both sides or cross multiply rather because this is over 1 as well. So we'll have um, this times this will give us 4 root x to be equal to 3x times 1 which is 3x. And at this point we will take you know the square of both sides so that this square root will be eliminated. And the whole of this will be squared. So that's from here. 4 squared will give us 16. And then this and this can cancel. So we have x. And it will be equal to 3 squared which is 9. Then x squared will appear. Okay. This means that this square is for the 3 and the x. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to rearrange this. So I have 9x squared to be equal to 16x. From here, divide both sides. Okay, collect everything to the left. So we have 9x squared minus 16x equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation that we can factorize. What is common to these two is x. And then we are going to have 9x left minus here we'll be having 16 close this bracket and this is equal to zero and then from here it means that it's either x is equal to zero or 9x minus 16 is equal to zero okay we are applying zero products rule so x remains zero or on this side 9x is equal to six, 0 plus 16 and that is 16. x remains 0 or 9x will be divided. In fact, we'll divide everything here by 9. Divide this by 9 and it's equal to 16 divided by 9. This will cancel this. Then x remains 0 or x on this side is 16 divided by 9. And then from here, 
we cannot reduce this to a lower term because they don't have any common factor okay so x is equal to 0 or 16 over 9 now let's try to check whether we are right or wrong the original equation is 100 to the power of root x equal to square root of 1000 to the power of x now if we put 0 here it means we have um, 100 to the power of root 0 this automatically will give us um, 1 and then on the right hand side it's going to be 1000 to the power of 0 and then automatically we are also going to have 1 so it is correct when x is equal to 0 right okay now let's try when x is equal to 16 over 9 that means we're going to have 100 to the power of square root of 16 over 9 that is for the left hand side will this be equal to square root of 100 okay of 1000 to the power of 16 over 9 are they going to be equal now on the left square root of 16 over 9 that will give us 100 to the power of 4 over 3 because square root of 16 is 4 square root of 9 is 3 will this okay let's work on the right now we have this we have um, 1000 to the power of 16 over 9 and this means that we are having 1000 to the power of 16 over 9 Okay, close this bracket 